Baby, I cannot believe I'm in my house as a black man making pho. I mean, what in the actual pho is going on on this here today? Baby, if you like pho the way I do, sit back and enjoy this recipe video because God damn it to hell, it turned out to be everything. All right, I'm back. All right, now look, today is a very serious day. Y'all know anytime I take on another culture's cuisine, I take it very seriously. And today we are making pho. It is pronounced pho, not pho. So now that you know, stop pronouncing it wrong. Now, you're going to need two large onions, rock sugar. You're going to need some spice, a spice pack, I should say. Rice sticks. You can either get them fresh or dry like I have here. You're also going to need some fish sauce. Now, this beef-flavored faux soup base I also got off of Amazon. I've heard fabulous things. You're going to need a large piece of ginger. I have beef marrow bones, oxtail, and then I also am going to be using beef short ribs. You see that? You see that? And you see everything else. Today, y'all can go on ahead and ask me for an ingredient list, honey. But we got a lot of work to do, child. All right, bye. All right, y'all. So let's get right to it. So the first thing you want to do is fill your pot about two to three inches above the meat. What we're doing right now is parboiling the meat. You are not trying to fully cook it. By parboiling it, you'll be able to get a lot of that scum to rise to the top because we want to extract as much of that in the early stage as possible so that we can get rid of that. I'll come back to that in a moment. While that was boiling, I went on ahead and sliced my onion and my ginger in half because we want to bring some aromatics to this. So we're going to roast this off. You can either do it on your stove type like I'm doing it here, or you can also do it in the oven. That's completely up to you. But just try not to burn it. But you want to get some good coloring on it. Now, like I was saying, as you can see, after about 10 minutes, a lot of that scum has come up to the top. And that's exactly what you want. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pour all of that liquid off. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, my God, you're losing a lot of flavor. No, you're not, honey. You're not losing any flavor at all. That was only boiling for about 10 minutes. And again, that was really because you want to make sure that you get it as clean as possible. After you rinse it off with nice warm water, I would say, you can put it back into a clean stock pot. Then you can add your aromatics in and then you're going to fill that up with water till it's about three to four inches above. Then you want to take one pack of your spice pack and you're going to toast that off. Once you can start to see a little bit of smoke or you start to hear some crackling, that's when you know that it's ready. You're going to also add in three of the cubes of the rock sugar. And then this beef uh, flavoring here that I have that I found on Amazon, I've heard fabulous things about it. So I went on ahead and I added in two tablespoons of that as well. Now that this is toasted up just the way that I want it to be, I'm going to go on ahead, put that into the spice bag and add that to the mix as well. I've also just added in two tablespoons of salt. Now, for some, you might think that that's a lot, but there's a lot of liquid in there. So trust me, it is the perfect amount. You want to bring this up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, you're going to reduce it to a simmer and allow it to cook for roughly five to six hours. Within that time, you're going to continuously skim off any of that scum that comes up to the top. You're also going to be adding in three tablespoons of nice fish sauce. Now, depending on the type of meat that you're going to be cooking, it is going to vary in how long this next step is going to take. All righty, you guys. So it has been about four hours and my beef short ribs here are pretty much falling off the bone. So I'm going to go on ahead and remove these out of the pot and sit them to the side. I don't want them to dry out and I don't want them to overcook. So for now, I'm just gonna take all of them out of the pot and sit them to the side. And I'm gonna leave the oxtails in. The oxtails still have a, has a little long ways to go. Um, they're, not, they're not tender to my liking just yet. So I'm gonna let those cook a little bit longer. But as far as these short ribs, baby, the short, look, the bone on that one is long gone. So it's time to take those out. Alrighty, folks, as you can see, the liquid has drastically reduced. We only have one hour left in this five hour long um, cooking process. And I'm now going to go on ahead and remove out my oxtails. They are nice and tender. I am also now in this last hour going to carefully remove the onion, the ginger and the spice pack. Alrighty, you guys. So what I've done now in this last hour, the only thing that's left in this pot are the beef bones themselves. I've added in six additional cups of water. I've removed our onion, ginger, and spice bag. I have that in a strainer over a pot so that all of that liquid can still be used. And I've taken out all of our meat. I've now gone in and removed all of the bones as well. And now very carefully, I'm going to run all of this liquid through a fine mesh strainer. Make sure you have a pot underneath of it. Don't make the mistake of not putting a pot underneath of it. 
And so after successfully removing everything out of the pot, I allowed this to fully cool down so that all of the fat could congeal and solidify up top so that I could easily remove it. And so that now I'm left with this absolutely beautiful broth. Alrighty, and my additional meat of choice is I have some very, very thin, thin, thin slices of beef here. As you can see, it's almost shaved. And let me just go on ahead and say this now for all the ignorant people that's going to come down in the comments section, comments and on things that they clearly aren't too culturally aware of. The reason why this meat is so thin is so that I can put it in the bowl raw so that when I put the boiling broth in it, it will immediately cook this meat. That is also the reason why it is crucial that the meat is super thin, okay? So don't waste your time trying to comment no stupid shit down in my comment section, okay? I had my rice noodles here soaking in some warm water for about five minutes. Now I'm going to place it in boiling water and I'm only going to keep it in here for about 10 seconds and then quickly remove it. Alrighty, y'all, it's time to assemble. I've added in my noodles to my bowl. I've added in one of my beef short ribs as well as an oxtail. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add in a little bit of mint, a few jalapenos. You can add in as many or as little as you would like. Of course, I gotta have the lime because I am who I am. I love having bean sprouts in mine. So I'm gonna put some bean sprouts right over here, just like so, move that over. And then I'm also gonna add in just a few pieces of that steak right there in the center. My God on today. And don't worry, this is my food. That's why I'm using my hands. And don't worry, I'm also gonna be washing my hands right after I'm done this. So I'm gonna put that there just like that. And now let's get that delicious broth over the top of it. And here we go. My God. Look at that. The meat is already cooking because of how hot it is. My God. I'm going to go in with a little bit of sriracha right across the top because that's what I like, just like that. And then I'm also going to add in just a little bit of hoisin sauce. Not too much on this because I don't like mine uber sweet. It's time for a taste test. Do y'all see this? Do you see this? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so damn good. All right, y'all, let's go in for a taste test. Pay me no mind, honey. Y'all know when I'm in the moo moo, that means I've been cooking. Uh-huh. Oh my God, I cannot believe I made this. Okay, I'm gonna go in and taste it. Okay, here's just the broth itself. Let me, let me taste it again. Cause it ain't no way. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a piece of this meat. Let me get, look at the short, look at the short rib. Look at the short rib, look at the short rib. Look at the short, look at the short rib. Oh, oh, <clears throat> oh, there's no, there's no way that I made this. No way. Hold on. Bitch, I did that. I cannot believe I made this. Like, real talk. <coughs> this tastes <coughs> as good, if not better, than some of the fun I've had at some restaurants. I am shook, shook, and shook it. Boy, bye. Y'all better make this. I gotta go. Oh, goodbye.